Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us raise our hand. You can pray one minute to the Lord again. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for the people, those who are watching online. Today, I am giving this entire session in your hand, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for taking control of this session. And give you the anointing and power to each and every people. Father God, I pray to get the blessings and power and anointing to each one of them. The people are watching online. Father God, I pray. Thank you for your give you the healing and deliverance to each and every people. Those who are having the faith in their heart to receive something from you. Father God, I pray this entire session in your hand. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are touching lots of souls and raising up lots of ministers, not only in the United Kingdom, but in all other nations. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So God bless you. Thank you very much. So people are watching. Today I'm going to preach the levels of faith. Praise the Lord. Levels of faith is already, this is a, uh, part six. Already we finished part one, two, three, four, and five. Today is part six. Last week I would I'm planning to finish this faith section. Praise Lord. The same session will be preaching in Malayalam uh, every Thursday. Praise the Lord. So today we already covered the measure of faith, the dead faith, little faith, and a genuine faith, and growing faith. One, two, three, four, five. And today we are preaching unwavering faith. Praise the Lord. LADM. That is what is that. This faith, by the grace of God, the Holy Spirit will touch you when the time of preaching this gospel. Thank you, Brother Blessed Thomas, Sister Blessed Thomas, Pastor Rajamani, Thomas, and Betsy. Lots of people are watching online. God bless you. Please share this gospel message. Praise the Lord. LADM. Today we are preaching. Just I want to touch from beginning till end. Praise the Lord. First, by the grace of God, I was preaching, praise the Lord, uh, different kinds of faith. Praise the Lord. The first, uh, first section, the mesh of faith, in that our God, by the grace of God, we could explain Book of Romans chapter 12, verse 3. Praise the Lord. After that, we already explained the dead faith. Book of James chapter 2, verse 17. Praise the Lord. That means uh, our God has given. If you are a born-again person, you have already received a minimum levels of faith in your life. Praise the Lord. The third section, we already discussed a little faith. Praise the Lord. So, um, caught in reference uh, we were preached, Book of Matthew, chapter 8, verses 26. The fourth faith section, genuine faith. Praise the Lord. This faith is a real faith. Genuine faith is a real faith. Second Timothy, chapter 1, verses 5, we already referred in that place. Praise the Lord. And um, the fifth section is growing faith. Praise the Lord. LLM. Fifth section, growing faith. Um, in the growing faith session, we already covered, praise the Lord, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, uh, verse 3, praise the Lord. So, uh, and book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 6, that's what the Bible says, For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything, but faith working through love. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The sixth session, by the grace of God, um, we are preaching how to have growing faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, and also, I would like to take the new section. Praise the Lord. Uh, the new section, I would like to take today, unwavering faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
the live session, we could able to preach how to have the growing faith. Praise Lord. That's what the five steps of growing our faith. That's what I mean. daily Bible study, daily prayer, daily obedience, daily pray in the spirit, daily exercise your faith. Praise the Lord. If our God want to increase your faith and my faith, what do I have to do it? We have to read Bible daily. Reading Bible is very, very important one. We are reading the God's word. That means God's promise we are reading. Praise the Lord. And also after Bible reading, we have to pray to the Lord. How to pray? We have to give the thanks and praise to the Lord. And we have to worship our Lord in spirit and truth. Praise the Lord. And daily obedience, that means we already discussed daily. We have to pray. We should have the prayer time. Praise the Lord. And place in that place, we have to pray to the Lord always. Praise the Lord. So we have to keep our timing each and every day. The fourth section, by the grace of God, we explained daily pray in the spirit. That means the people, those who are having received the tongue, the gift of tongue, we have to praise our Lord in spirit. Praise the Lord. So shakalatu, shantata pata kalatu reken, shantata pata kalatu reken. We have to praise our Lord in spirit and truth. Praise the Lord. When you are praising our Lord in tongues, we are not preaching the gospel. We are not praising to the people. But directly we are connected to the heaven. Praise the Lord. We are connected to the heavenly places. When you are connected to the heavenly places, in the heavenly places, then what will happen? The Holy Spirit will take control of your life. In their life, Holy Spirit can take control of you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Again, Bible says uh, the first, the fifth, the five steps of growing faith. That means the fifth one, daily exercise your faith. That means how we can exercise our faith. If you are a child of God, we already discussed last week. If you are a, if we are a child of God, if you are a child of God, if I am a child of God, what we have to do it? We have to pray for others. Praise the Lord. The sick people, when you're going out, we have to pray for the sick people. If you are a gospel preacher, you have to preach the gospel and exercise with the gift which our God has given to you. If any of the sick people are walking through that side, we have to call that sick people, praise the Lord, invite them and tell them about Jesus Christ and pray for them and heal that people in the name of Jesus Christ. This is what our God is required. We have to exercise for, exercise our faith. This is what our God is required from you and me today. Praise the Lord. So the sixth session we are going to explain today. Unwavering faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what unwavering faith is a certain about God's promise and knows is the outcome before it is seen. I would like to read one more time like that. In Malayalam, that Ajan Chelamaya Vishwasam David in the Vata Kurchura Puladum, Adakan and then a Mumba, Adin de Falam, Arian Nadamana, Bible Chay, Bible saying, Unwavering faith is a certain about God's promise. It is based on the promise of the Lord. Praise the Lord. The promise of the Lord means it is what is it is written in the Bible. The promise of the Lord that means lots of promises which is written in the Bible. Praise the Lord. The promise we have to believe before you receive something in our life. We have to believe it will happen in life. One day it will happen in our life. We have to believe accordingly. Praise the Lord. Then Bible is saying, according to your faith and my faith, our God will grant your desire. Praise the Lord. This word, unwavering faith is a certain about God's promise and knows the outcome before it is seen. Praise the Lord. Millennium. In this unwavering faith, that means this is faith that does not doubt 100% what our God has said in my life, it will happen. Praise the Lord. In the Bible, we can see lots of examples about unwavering faith. I would like to read that one. It's the book of James, chapter 1, verses 6 and 7 and 8. It says, But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts like a wave. Praise the Lord of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. 
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And also, book of James chapter 1, verse 7, in this Bible says, For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you are having doubt, if you are not believing the promise of the Lord, according to the Bible, Bible says, it is very difficult for you and me to receive something from the God. Praise the Lord. So that unwavering faith, that means uh, this is a, almost extreme levels of faith. If you are having this kind of faith, 100% what is it is there in your heart, our God will grant you. Our God can grant you. Our God can provide you. Praise the Lord. No matter the situation, what all the situation which is coming against your life. Praise the Lord. If you are having unwavering faith, that means 100%. If you are believing the promise of the Lord, promise of the Lord cannot be changed. Which is written, all the promises in the Bible, all the promises of the Lord are still alive in Christ Jesus by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. This is what I want to say to all the people. So, our God is asking to each one of you, if you are a born-again person, praise the Lord. Um, if you are a born-again person, 100%, uh, you will not have 100% faith in the initial time. But the later on, when you read the Bible, when you preach the word of God, when we praise the God, when you start to give the praise and thanks to the Lord, when you start, when we start to give uh, the worship to our Lord, automatically the Spirit of God will come and give in your heart and in our heart and increase a certain levels of faith. Praise the Lord. We can we will get in, our God can get the faith in your heart and in my heart. How it will happen? The faith by hearing the word of God. Praise the Lord. By reading the Bible, by spending the time with the God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When the time of when you're when you're doing all kind of things, our God's faith, our God will give to you by default in your heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what the Bible says. That's what the book of James chapter 1, verse 6, the Bible says, but let them ask. Let him ask in faith, which is not doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible is saying, praise the Lord, if you are having the doubt in our heart, Bible is saying, book of James chapter 1, verses 8, Bible says, he is a double-minded man and stable in all his ways. Praise the Lord. Double-minded man, that means we, we are not 100% sure, praise the Lord, uh, whether it will happen from God or from somebody, praise the Lord. Bible says we should have 100% confidence in Christ Jesus. This God can be able to help in your matter, praise the Lord. This is what our God is asking from, your, from you and me today. So, so uh, just I want to um, explain the few things about my spiritual life, praise the Lord. So I started to preach the gospel in 2017. 2017, I started to preach the gospel. When the time of preaching the gospel, no one was helping me. Only I was only preaching the gospel in front of everybody. I usually, what, what, how I was preaching gospel, I was reading one chapter of Bible. And, and after that, I will go to the street. I will read the Bible, one chapter of Bible or a few words of Bible. And I will say to each and every people, Jesus Christ loves you. Praise the Lord. The later on, our God has increased my faith. I know that lots of people, they were mocking me. They were saying something against me. They were standing something against me. They were standing against me. Praise the Lord. I was not at all looking at any of these things. I was not at all caring any of these things. I was keep holding the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Today, I'm so much happy to say in front of everybody, Jesus Christ is the God Almighty. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ has enlarged my faith. Jesus Christ has enlarged my territories. Jesus Christ has enlarged my, um, the, all the ministry levels. Praise the Lord. So that today I want to say, if sometimes if people are not supporting me, I can go by the power of the Holy Spirit by myself and preach the gospel in the city and I will come back to, come back to my home. Praise the Lord. So today, this is what our God is asking. If I'm not at all looking at anybody's support, I'm looking at support. If our God is sending somebody to get support in my life, definitely I will ask them to get the support. Praise the Lord. But the world people support, I don't want. That means the world people, you know, that one, uh, you know, that appreciation, I don't want. 
our god is taking care of me our god is giving the guidance each and every time in my life this is what i was thinking so that i want to say to all the people praise the lord when i when i when i look at in my past life 2017 onwards until now i want to say, i want to say jesus christ has enlarged my life in all the days whatever i was doing in my hands our god has blessed lots of people thousands and thousands of people got saved lots of people received the baptism lots of people received the revelation lots of people received the healings and um, and deliverance from the lord how it happened like that the reason is i was not at all looking at the people those who standing around in place of me i was looking at the god who was supporting me each and every time praise the lord this is what our god is asking to each and every people praise the lord so uh, in the bible i can show you lots of example praise the lord hallelujah lots of example uh, in the bible you can see that one abraham jacob and david these all the characters they were having unchangeable faith in the new testament we can see that one the character apostle peter when he was in the prison he was sleeping in the prison praise the lord and also apostle paul he was also worshiping our god when he was in the prison praise the lord he, they were not at all worrying about their life they were not at all worrying about anything about the jail they were not at all worrying about anything about the prosecution they were always giving the thanks and praise to the lord this god can able to get support and protection in my life they were worshiping they were giving thanks and praise to the god who can deliver them praise the lord hallelujah so that today i want to say to all the people according to this bible words praise the lord what all the situation whichever whatever it is coming against your life today our god always you have to say from your mouth you have to teach our mouth that jesus christ will deliver me one day praise the lord that jesus christ can able to protect me this jesus christ can able to provide everything in my life this jesus christ can able to supply everything each and every need what all the things whatever i need in my life this god can able to get it in my life we should have this kind of confidence this is what our god is asking from each and every people i would like to read book of hebrew chapter 10 verses 23 in this bible says let us hold let us hold fast in the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is faithful praise the lord hallelujah that means in this book of hebrew chapter 10 verse 23 saying the two things one we should have the hope the second thing is a promise of the lord the word of god we should have the hope to whom we should have the promise in the word of god which is written in the bible when you are reading from the book of genesis until the revelation we can see lots of promises which is written in the bible praise the lord bible is saying to each and every people today we should have the promises in the lord we should have the hope in the promises of the lord praise the lord so just i would like to read today about abraham abraham he was like you and me praise the lord but he was not the child of god in the new testament in the old testament we know that one book of genesis when you are reading book of chapter 12 onwards book of genesis chapter 12 onwards when you are reading our god has given lots of promise to the abraham praise the lord he was he left his house with empty hands after that our god is blessed he was living in the tent our god is blessed him a lot yes by year praise the lord day by day he was growing our god was multiplying enlarging his territory how it happened like that abraham he was walking by faith in god right this is a reason our god has blessed a lot abraham yes i would like to read book of hebrews chapter 11 verse 8 praise the lord book of hebrew chapter 11 where it said in this bible says but by faith abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive an inheritance is as an inheritance and he went out not knowing where he was going praise the lord our god has called abraham to come out abraham come out abraham he came out and wherever our god has called abraham he went there and he was stayed there and he was obeyed the word of god bible is saying when you are reading all the book of genesis our god is blessed abraham not only the abraham his children isaac and david 
and uh, you know that one through david you know that one joseph and all the children and all their generations our god is blessed because of the obedience of abraham praise the lord this is what i want to say to all the people today if you are reading the bible our god will never put your face to shame praise the lord not the your all your matter what all the situation whatever you are facing today praise the lord each and every questions our god can able to provide the answer that answer will come in favor of you if you are the child of god praise the lord sometimes you are watching online you don't have job praise the lord but still the promise of the lord is still alive we can see that we can see the promise of the lord so promise of the word in the bible that's what the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 verse in the bible says i will bless i will command the blessing the things whatever you are doing by your hand this is what our god is saying to each and every people praise the lord our god will command the blessing for you praise the lord wherever you are what is the blessings maybe you are doing the business maybe you are doing some uh, you are um, um, working somewhere praise the lord uh, the, whatever you are doing maybe you are doing the gospel ministry you don't have anything uh, you know that one uh, anything in your hand to go for it our go baby you don't have any money to meet your expenses praise the lord our god is saying our god is a faithful god our god can supply each and every needs praise the lord because our god is a mighty god he is a righteous god this is what our god is saying to each and every people today only one thing our god is asking from you and me we should have we have to put our hope in god we have to declare the word of god in our from our heart praise the lord from our mouth in front of everybody through this god i will i will i will i will receive the greatest things this is what i have to say to in front of everybody through this god my name will become great this is what i want to say this through this god our god will bless in all the areas of my life through this god where or i'm touching my, my feet where or i'm touching my feet my feet that place our god will bless that place this is what i want to say to each and every people so what about the situation which is coming against your life praise the lord hallelujah now you know that one uh, some people are watching right now praise the lord hallelujah bleeding bleeding is there praise the lord this i am seeing that one god is showing the bleeding some people are watching here praise the lord hallelujah somebody is having the bleeding right now when you went to the toilet some something like that you you could see the bleeding you you, you are so upset today praise the lord hallelujah i want to pray for you the spirit of god is showing praise the lord. somebody is having bleeding today praise the lord when you went to the toilet somebody went to the toilet praise the lord hallelujah bleeding happened you are worrying about your life and you are uh, you are looking in the, the you know searching in uh, the social media the bleeding what is the outcome of the bleeding a lot of things you know that when you are you are read and after that you saw you are so much upset i want to pray for you heavenly father i pray for the people those are suffering the bleeding right now heavenly father in the name of jesus christ i cancel that person is worrying about a cancer a person is worrying about some other disease in the name of jesus christ i sprinkle the blood of jesus christ in jesus name i cancel that spirit of bleeding right now in jesus name shantata patta kalatu rakan shantata patta kalatu rakan shantalaka shantata patta kalatu rakan shantata patta kalatu rakan in jesus name i pray praise the lord hallelujah that's what book of Uh, Hebrew chapter 11 verse 9 Bible says by faith he dwelt in the land of promise as in a foreign country dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob praise the Lord the heirs with him of the same promise praise the Lord hallelujah because Hebrew chapter 11 verse uh, 10 Bible says for he wait for the city with us which has foundations whose builder and maker is God. Praise the Lord. Where it says, Elon Bible says, by faith, Sarah herself also received the strength to receive the seed. Sarah, she was barren. Praise the Lord. Our God is blessed because of his promises. After promise, the 25 years later, Abraham, he was waiting to get the promise to get fulfilled in his life. Praise the Lord. He was waiting a long, Abraham, he was waiting a long time to re- receive the blessings from the Lord. what he happened later on afterwards our god has blessed abraham praise the lord hallelujah our god is blessed jacob in all the characters in the old testament and new testament because of their faith our god is blessed so today i want to say to all the people 
nothing to worry anything about the situations maybe they will come and say to each and every people praise the lord hallelujah so um you will not get anything today but like abraham uh, we will believe jesus christ what he has received we have hebrew chapter 11 verse 12 the same thing you will also receive in your life today praise the lord bible says therefore from one man and him as good as dead were born as many as the stars of the sky is multitude praise the lord hallelujah so that our god is given uh, to abraham praise the lord hallelujah so all the people are watching maybe you are jobless today maybe you don't have anything today in your life praise the lord but our god is asking only one thing from you and me today we should have the faith in god praise the lord when you are having the faith in god this god will establish your territory this god will honor your faith this god will multiply your faith this god will keep you safe that's what book of psalm chapter 91 bible says i will never leave you nor forsake you i will come at my angels to get the protection wherever you are praise the lord so the people those who are having watching online maybe you don't have a job maybe nobody will uh, nobody will support you praise the lord your spiritual lives the life and physical life any of any of the areas of your life but i want to say one thing to all the people nothing to worry anything about your life this god will multiply this god will increase you this god will honor you in all the ways of your life let us raise our hand i want to pray for each and every person praise the lord hallelujah heavenly father in the name of jesus christ i pray for this session this session heavenly father this is a session of faith father god you are priest of this castle by your power father god i pray for each and every people right now the people those are watching your life i pray for each and every people right now thank you for your touching the people especially for the holy spirit you are showing a person who was having the bleeding right now, today today holy father i pray for them right now thank you for your heal you already touched that person you already gave the healing to that person's body right now heavenly father declare the perfect healing right now the spirit of bleeding the spirit of where is kinds of infirmity in the name of jesus christ i bind i cast out right now in jesus name of it shikala thurakan shatta tapatta kala thurakan father god i pray for each and every people right now the people those are watching online people those those who don't have people are not working the people are jobless people the people those who lost something in their life the people those who are facing the loneliness the where is kinds of people are watching right now father god has sprinkled your blood of jesus christ right now in them right now heavenly father in the name of jesus christ and declare the healing each and every parts of their body right now in jesus name i declare the success in everybody's life i declare the gospel outreach in where over the whoever is preaching the gospel in that place not only in that place in all of the nations father god i pray in jesus name of you amen the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship with our holy spirit be with you all surely goodness and mercy will follow us in all the days of our life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever more amen god bless you